Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you what it's like to actually live in Australia. All right, so I'm gonna go over a few things today on what it is like to live in Australia. But where I live, is obviously different to places of Australia. So where I live is Gold Coast, Queensland. So this is a city that is known for having beautiful beaches and beautiful weather. So the first topic I'm gonna go on today is weather. So in the Gold Coast, we don't technically have seasons. It's always very hot and humid here. We have where it's hot or where it's not as hot. So our summer is pretty much all year long, but winter is known to be the best season here because it gets to about a 25 degrees during the day and around eight degrees in the morning. So you're wearing a jumper in the morning, but during the day, it's still hot enough to go to the beach or do whatever you need to do. So the weather is, it's beautiful on the Gold Coast. Obviously, if you go down south, such as Sydney or Melbourne, they have a lot stronger winter and their winds are really, really strong. So it can get down to even into the three to four degrees in the morning and then only a top of 15 degrees. So it can be very, very cold in parts of Australia. But if you're looking for that beachy summer weather where you can always be wearing shirts and shorts, then Gold Coast is the place to be. All right, the next one is going to be the beaches. So Gold Coast is very, very known for amazing, amazing beaches. We have beaches all around as we are one big island in Australia, but the Gold Coast offers some of the best beaches in the world, such as Whitehaven Beach. And then we've got all our classic beaches that are touristic, such as the Surface Paradise Beach, which is main beach. And then we have Burley Head, Snapper Rocks, all the famous surfing spots as well. So beaches are a big, big part of where I live on the Gold Coast, but they're a huge part of Australia as well. So if you're looking for that beach vibe, then you can't go wrong with Queensland or even having a road trip down that coastline. There are so many deserted rural beaches that you can go to and they're just, they're just simply stunning. They're amazing. So the beaches are definitely must do when you're in Australia. All right, the next topic is gonna to be driving. This is a weird topic, but I thought I'd touch on this. If you come from a foreign country where the steering wheel is on the left side and you also drive on the other side of the road. So driving in Australia is obviously the steering wheel is in the right-hand side of the car and you drive on the left-hand side of the road. Spending six months in Brazil, driving complete opposite and then coming back to Australia, I was very confused, but it took me a few months before I got used to it. But one thing I did notice in Brazil is that a lot of drivers tend to not let you into the lane as easy. You know, you sort of got to fight for it a bit and everyone's sort of, you know, trying to get to their destination as quick as they can, which is fine. But in Australia, you'll find that the drivers are probably a little bit nicer to you on the road. You know, if you don't let someone in, they will get very angry at you because you didn't let them in. It's just common courtesy. Everyone has a spot on the road and uh, I think driving in Australia, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how generous everyone is. And uh, you know, it is, it is a bit more of a pleasure to drive in Australia. All right, the last thing I'm gonna touch on is food and the price. So this is obviously very dependent on what dollar you have when you come to Australia. Australia is known to be a very expensive country to live. Just in general, living costs, electricity, water bills, food prices, Australia has really well paying jobs. So therefore the price of going out for a breakfast or going out for dinner is a bit higher than normal. So, you know, for me, when I went to South America and Brazil, our Australian dollar was very strong there. So therefore everything was four times cheaper at the time. So we were blown away with how much we could buy at a restaurant and for it being so cheap at the conversion. So when you go to a cafe here, Australia is full of you know, hipster, fancy, beautiful cafes in beautiful locations on the beach or, you know, in the town, in the suburbs, wherever there's cafes everywhere in Australia. So you definitely won't have a shortage of finding a really good one here. Um, but your prices are going to go from anywhere from $4 to $5 for a coffee. And then, you know, your, your bacon and eggs, your, your typical Australian breakfast would anywhere be from, you know, eight to $15, depending on how fancy the place is and, and what they give you for that value. 
but the food is good. Don't get me wrong, the food is really yummy, but you know, if you're on a if you're on a currency that isn't the best exchange rate for Australia, then maybe you'll have to look at something a bit cheaper. But treat yourself, it is definitely worth it, the food, and Australia has a beautiful, beautiful coffee. We have just a range of coffee. Obviously, it's imported a lot from Brazil, but we also do have our own beans here in Australia. So make sure you check out cafes. They are a bit more expensive, but they're definitely worth your time and money to just go there, try it out, and uh, you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you made it all the way to the end, good work. I hope you learned a little bit about Australia and sort of what to expect when you come here if you are thinking about it. Obviously, with this pandemic that's happening right now, everything's in the unknown but this video could be really helpful for you for the future. So if you did like the video, of course, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the video a ton. And I love making videos for you guys. So I'm gonna keep making as many informative videos as I can for you guys. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or night or wherever you are. And we'll see you in the next one.